in my previous video i thought that we had finished the basics of algorithm but later on i realized that before going into tutorials we must learn some other basics of algorithm as well so those basics are required before making some complex objects in algorithm bismillahirrahmanirrahim so in this video uh, we are going to learn about how to change the color of an object making an object invisible removing uh, the the cake in the circle you will see that cake now making objects to fly upward making something as a killer killer here means that any object that collides with the killer object will be killed or will be vanished making some object immortal immortal objects or those objects that when collide with killer objects will not be killed making something a magnet that will attract other objects towards itself making two objects not to collide usually in algodu when you push two objects together they will collide with each other and will be repelled after collision but if you make them not to collide they will then pass through each other and they will not collide with one another thrusting an object that is pushing an object by some force we will also learn about attaching a tracer to the object wherever that object goes it will leave a trace behind it combining shapes that's very important topic of today's lesson putting repelling power in an object it's opposite of attraction it will repel all the objects that comes near to it converting something into water and then we will also learn how to freeze that water making something a like a sponge cloning an object and making a mirror image of some object so these are the main topics that we are going to see and learn in algodu so now let's open our algodu and try these things one by one so open your algodu go to this new scene click here and select any of these scene i would like to select the default scene so this is the default scene now draw some objects here for example circle is already selected i would like to draw a circle here and then let's draw another circle so that we can see how they attract if we mix one of them a magnet or repel them and then let's uh, draw another object like this one for example so now if you click this play button they will be dropped towards the ground okay now what was the first lesson it was changing the color of the object so now let's come change the color of these objects for changing the color select the object right click on it and then go to appearance in the appearance here is the color palette you can select any color for that object for example i selected red color you can make it blue green yellow orange and this is yellow and here you can decrease the intensity of that color or decrease the intensity this is yellow color and we are increasing its intensity here also you can change their uh, different properties for example this is h which will change the color you can see the ball is changing its color it has now become blue and let's see what does this thing do this is like uh, making this thing like this is saturation i think and what about this one this is mix something light or dark so this is for lighting and making it dark and this one is uh, for a random color it will select a random color for this object okay see these uh these layers are very clear if you want to make them blur so you can go to this edge blur and now see how it how the edges are going to be blurred see this object has totally gone blurred 
so this was the about the changing the color of the object close this palette okay now what is the second topic making objects invisible so let's make one of these objects invisible for example the same object go to appearance and in appearance this makes something invisible okay now you will see that it will be make it will be invisible okay now you can see that all the object has been made invisible except this cake you can see you can remove this cake as well and you can remove that that uh, that edge as well so let's remove the edge go to appearance this is the border so you can remove border click on it now go here and you can see that border has been removed now let's make it reappear again so now it has reappeared this is the button which will make it appear or disappear this is called the cake I think our next uh, topic is removing the circle cake. So let's see how we can remove this cake from this circle. Go to appearance and then this is the draw circle cake. You can remove or add the cake to the circle. So remove it and then uh, reduce the intensity of the color. It will be become invisible now and you can see that this is uh, almost invisible uh, here okay let's make it reappear okay we have made it reappeared then what about the next lesson making some object fly upward that is decreasing the density of that object so how do you decrease the density of that object the first method is that select this object then click on this option here on the top right side material click on this material and select here the helium so if you uh, click on helium this will be filled with helium and its density will decrease and it will fly upward so click on helium okay click on gold pack so it will fall to the ground again and click on default okay so helium if you click on helium you can make all the objects to fly upward okay the second a option method is that you can decrease the density from here from this button so just decrease the density it will fly upward let's see if it can fly or not i'm decreasing the density of the object okay decrease it once it is decreased uh, below the air's density it will fly up okay it is now flying okay make it again increase it so that it can fall to the ground so this was density okay this density can appear here as well if you right click on this object and go here to the material you can see this is density you can change the density from here as well as also you can change the material type from here from here as well as from this material menu you can make it ice you can make it helium wood gold rubber etc okay the next is making something a killer killer object this is not killer at this time because if you push this object against this object it will collide but it will not be killed okay let me bring it back here also let's bring this back here you can bring them with your hand tool just drag it back okay now close this and go here okay this uh, they they will just collide if you push this it will collide with this but it will not be killed now let's make one of these objects as killer for example let's make this uh, bigger ball a killer so how to make it killer just right click on this object go to the material and you can see down here killer and immortal just click on killer this will be converted into killer 
as you can see, it killed the earth as well. Now, before uh, that, let me click on Control Z and let's make this land or ground as a mortal. So, click on this ground, go to Material and click on a mortal. So, this ground will not be killed anymore. Okay, now let's make it a killer object. Go to Material and Killer. Okay, now this will not kill this ground. Now let's see if it can kill this smaller ball or not. Just push it towards this ball. Yeah, it's killed. Okay, now let's draw another circle and throw it towards that bigger ball. Yeah, it's killed now. But how will you make something immortal? Because our next topic is making something immortal so that it cannot be killed when it collides with a killer object. This is a killer object. Anything that collides with this object will disappear. So how can I make a ball that cannot be killed by this one? So just draw a ball and then go to material and make it immortal. So now it is not, it is immune to the killing. I just throw it towards this now it cannot be killed and you saw that box was killed as soon as it collided with this ball so it will not be able to kill this ball but any other ball if you draw here that will be killed that will be killed by this bigger ball okay this was killed but this ball cannot be killed Okay, it collided with the ball and it was not killed. Our next lesson is making something magnet. Okay, so let's make this one as a magnet. So go to the material. In material, go to this attraction. Okay, first let's go drag it here so that you can see how it drags something let me put it here and uh, oh drag it here put it here now okay stop it material attraction now increase the attractive power of this ball you will see that this will now attract this ball this bigger blue ball towards itself so i am increasing the attractive power of that ball so now this bigger ball will be attracted towards the smaller ball yeah it has started moving towards that ball as you increase this attractive power the ball will move faster towards that ball so now this is moving towards this ball because this ball is attracting this other ball because we have put some attractive power in this ball. Now let's make another small ball here and let's see if it is attracted towards this ball or not. As you can see, it is going uh, towards that ball. Yeah. Oh, it was killed by this ball because this is a killer. Let's remove the killing power from this from this thing. So this is not anymore a killer now. Now let's drop another ball. This will be dragged towards that. And you can see this is being attracted by this ball and it is pushing this towards the other side. Okay, so this has now become a magnet. Now let's remove the magnetic power from this. Okay, now it's not a magnet anymore. Okay, huh? yes. What is the next topic? making two objects not to collide okay so how can we do that as you can see if you uh, move this ball it will collide with this one let's let me make a box here this is a box now you see this will collide with this box and will not move any further yes it was repelled back Okay, now let's see how do we make them not to collide. Okay, right click on this box, 
go to this collision layer. In collision layer, you can see that there are many collision layers. So collision layer A has been selected for the box. Now let's see what collision layer was selected for this box. Click select this ball and go to collision layers. As you can see here also we have collision layer A selected. So change this from A to B. Oh, it was pushed upward by that ground. Before deselecting collision layer A, you must select collision layer B. So let's draw another ball. Okay, here is the ball. It dropped back to the ground. Yeah, but let me show you again. For example, this is a ball. You first click here, collision layers. First, you will have to select collision layer B, then remove collision layer A. Then it will not be pushed by the ground upward. Now let's move it towards this box and see if it can collide with the box or not. Yeah, it's passing in front of that box. So using this ability of Algodoo, that is collision layers, you can make several things in front of each other that can move, for example, cars. For example, you make two cars. One of the car crosses the other. If this, if there was not this ability in Algodoo, you will not be able to make two cars crossing each other because they would be colliding with each other. So now with this ability, you can make two, three and several cars that will not be colliding with each other while crossing. Okay, now let's see the next topic is thrusting an object. For example, this is an object, this is ball and I want to push it by applying some force. So let's stop it first. This is now stopped. Okay, now how to put a force in it? Go to the uh, geometry. In geometry, uh, the, the force is, uh, yes, this is add center thruster. I add a thruster, oh, okay. It is pushing this object, but you can see the direction of this force is downward and it is moving with the, with the moving circle. If you want to make this uh, force not moving with the circle motion, then you can do this by first let's click it here and stop it and then go to this thruster and deselect this thruster follows geometry rotation. Deselect it. And now it has a specific direction and it will not move with, with rotating circle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You saw that is moving here, this small. Let me follow it. You can see this ball is moving, is being thrusted by that force. You can see. Here, okay, it's moving very fast now. Okay, let's see the next topic. The next topic is attaching a tracer to some object. When it moves, it will leave a trace behind it. So how will you add a tracer? Just select it, go to the geometry and attach a tracer. So this is a tracer now, this is attached. Now let's move this and see if it can leave a trace behind. Yeah, you can see this is leaving a trace behind it. Yeah, but that trace is going to dim just after a few seconds. How do you make it last longer? Just select this tracer and then go to the tracer and increase this fade time to like, for example, 7 seconds, 9 seconds, 28, 57. As you can see that the trace that it left behind is reappearing because we have increased the fading time for this trace. Now it has increased. Let's decrease it a little bit. Uh, this is like 40, 35 seconds. Now let's move it. Yeah, this is like a brush now, a pen. You can use this tracing ability of uh, the Algudu for many purposes. Now let's go to the combining of shapes. So how do you combine different shapes? 
for example uh, you draw uh, some circle here and it's now on this circle stop this and drag this circle below and i want to add this circle to that box so just click on this circle go to the combine shapes and select this add option it will be added now to the background to the to the uh, to the box now just remove this from here and you can see this semicircle has been added to the box behind it now this is a single object there we saw another option in the in the combined shapes which is subtract now let's see what subtract does click on this subtract and now see what it has happened so it will remove the portion where this object lies on the behind object so it is subtracting that portion from that object using this ability that is adding or subtracting shapes from one another uh, it can can help you making many different shapes let's see another uh, option that was combined shapes and it is the intersect see it the whole of the body disappeared but that which was behind this so this is like uh, intersect now see another option here combined shape this is cut let's see what happens to the cut yeah this has just make a cut in this object so these were all the options in combined shapes then we have putting repelling power in an object here we studied about making an object a magnet here we will see how we make a magnet that can repel the other object so here for example play this it will fall to the ground now as you can see this is neither repelling nor attracting any other objects mm, let me draw a small ball here so that we can see if it can attract or repel that ball drag it here now i am going to put a repelling power in this bigger ball just select right click on it and then go to the go to the script menu okay click on this script menu and here in the script menu uh, you can see this attraction in attraction just put here minus one okay remove this 10 this is minus one okay this is minus one and now i think you need just to close this yeah it is being repelled wow <laughs> that is also repelling okay you can see that it is repelling that object stop it and draw a small object here yeah is being repelled by this object so this was the repulsion power that we put inside this object so it will repel all the objects near it and let's see the next converting an object into water how do you convert something into water so you can convert anything into water for example this is box here how do you that was repelled okay let's convert this into water first select it this object then right click and go here liquefy so it will be converted into water yes this now changed into water you can convert a circle for example a circular object into water click on it liquefy this is now converted into water now let's freeze this water the next topic is how to freeze that already available water just right click on water and then uh, go uh, here to the water options and freeze now this water is freezed so what is our next topic that is making something as a sponge spongifying an object let's draw a circle and make it as a sponge drop it to the ground and now go to this spongify you will see this has been converted into a sponge now just uh, use your hand and see if it is like a sponge or not okay this is not like a sponge 
Yeah. Okay. The next is making a clone on, of an object. Let's make a clone of this object. Clone. Clone. Yes, you can see it is going to create clones of this. And clone means exactly identical objects. So this, you can see this thing is on the left side here as well as in this object also. Our next topic is mirror. So mirror will be different from this because it will be a mirror image of this object. So click on mirror. You will see this has converted it into a mirror. Again, click it, mirror. So this just changes the orientation of the object. It converts that object into its mirror image while clone will create its copy. So clone is making copy. See, this has cloned. And if you want to change the orientation or making it into a mirror image, just click on this. This has now converted into its mirror image. So that was all about today's uh, lesson, lesson number three. We learned some advanced things in Algodu. So uh, inshallah, in my next video, we will learn about, we will start tutorials from the next uh, video. So till then, bye.